most inventions, invention to market reality and market, let's say, predominance is 10 years. When the first thought of we could do this differently to being a leading solution in the market is, is probably 10 years. There are some exceptions, but that's it. So can you imagine on the corporate budget cycle, which is annual, you have to justify this thing possibly 10 times before it actually is a profitable product that, that is, competes with the existing base. Uh, the amount of times we had to get reapproval for the same project, <laughs> and then you get all lights are green, and then you have, you're working through your annual year and everything's good, and then you get a new executive, or something changes, or a reorg, and all over again. So yes, I can definitely relate to that problem. Starting with listening, it's synthesizing everything you hear and collecting all that data and sort of turning it into these nuggets that the business will understand. It's co-creating with your partners, bringing them along the journey. It's refining after you've partnered and sort of gotten a couple reps, some experimentation, some prototyping, and then it's campaigning and having the right advocates campaign alongside you for you as well as campaigning yourself. And so I think um, following that process has been extremely helpful for me. It's okay to be looked at as crazy. It's okay. I think no, there's nobody in history that did something absolutely amazing that somebody at some point didn't think they were absolutely crazy. It's okay to be mad. Uh, in fact, it's desirable to be mad, but understand that your madness has to be translated into uh, a product. So you have to then implement it. And that's fundamentally a people problem you have to solve. So your madness is good for the invention part, and maybe it gives you the belief that you can change the world, which is what you want. But in the end, there, all the rest is a people problem, whether it's the R&D problem, the business and product launch problem, the sales problem, the customer problem, they're people problems. And most innovators underestimate the importance of that.